Okay, Capricorn, we'll be catching up with you today here and see where your energies are at. I've got a nine card read, so we're going to get through this quite quickly. Here we go. I got the uh, Power Surrender card at the end and Dreams of Gaia we're going to start out with. And we also got the Masculine and Feminine Infinity cards here. So the first card for Capricorn is... Six of fire. Okay. Give me a moment here. We may be in competition for something is the sense I get here. They're making me highly aware. Uh, the six of air of this trophy here. Um, <clears throat> we are in battle is what they said. There's a battle going on here. Um, Yeah, we have an enemy in our midst here. The interesting thing is, is uh, they're making me also aware that these guys are not looking at each other. We may be in a competition. We don't know we're in a competition. This is kind of weird what I'm getting here. It's kind of like there's a trophy we're fighting for against someone else, but we may be unaware of this someone else. Oh, bear with me. We'll see. Um, yeah, it, it's like we don't know we're in a competition for a reward here or a trophy of some sort. That could be in any form. It could be a job we're competing for. We don't know someone else is interested in this kind of thing, but there's a, there's a battle here and we may not know our opponent is what they said. But um, there's a sense here we want to win out. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's it's like we don't know we're even in the competition. But there's somebody going after something that we want. And this is the thing. Either we're going to go after it or we're going to lose it. Okay. Next row here. Down the center is complicated energy already here. The Queen of Air, 13. Queen of Air could be a, a air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel like this is, you know, the wisdom bird coming to land in your backyard. Not only in your backyard, <clears throat> in your front porch, on your lap, this kind of thing. I feel like there's some wisdom coming in here. In order for us to see things more clearly. Um, I don't know if this competition thing is in the mix of this. But nonetheless, somewhere uh, in our life here, there's going to be some very important information coming through to us. It's going to help us make some decisions here. Could be in, in the form of a person coming toward us. Or just the information itself. Mm hmm okay I'm gonna go to the next card we got 11 of earth which is heaven and earth <laughs> this queen of air might also be our own instinct we may be in an air format here we may be collecting energy from our mind from our instinct from things even on a heavenly uh landscape here uh the heaven means a lot whoever's energy i'm picking up on heaven means a lot here when we say like pennies from heaven anything heaven 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 there's something about heaven here or is that our wonderland you know things in heaven uh, in heaven and earth there's something about that energy here. Wish they would fine tune that so I could speak it clearly. But nonetheless, right? We're Capricorn, we're Earth energy. Uh, heaven would be the opposite of that, right? It would be, if we're in charge of things here on Earth, heaven is everything that we're not in charge of. We don't, um, we may not be able to relate to. We may be curious about, I'm not too sure. 
this may be where the information's coming from is kind of the sense I get. We may be starting to listen to our instinct. We may be starting to believe in a heaven that we may not have put a lot of weight there before. Or as a kid, you know, when you think about, you know, the magical, well, let's take Christmas and Santa Claus, right? It, it's real magical. It's real hopeful. It's real positive to think Santa's going to come drop presents, all that, right? I get the sense for this person that I'm picking up on that heaven is the same way. Heaven's listening and they're going to help me and I'm going to get through this. And we may be getting answers from heaven, right? From instinct, from third eye, because everybody's open, <laughs> We're opening up and awakening to um, our inner gifts here. And this may be something for the Capricorn, but they may be packaging it in heaven. Um, the heaven is coming to connect. And it may even be in the form of, of people that have passed on or whatnot. We may be getting uh, proof of this or something. Maybe I'm getting the word freaking us out. We may be freaked out because there may be synchronicities coming at us, things that we don't believe in may be hitting us, okay? Okay, I feel like there's a deep spiritual thing that's trying to happen in whatever form the Capricorn will take it. And I feel like we're very grounded, but yet we do believe that when people die, there is something. I feel like this person believes there's something out there. There's a place that we go. This is what I'm talking about. And it's good and great and wonderful. So that's, you know, we'll take that, right? <laughs> we'll take that and run with it. So this is kind of the sense I'm getting. And, and maybe we didn't uh, put a lot of effort or thought into any of these processes before, but we are starting to now. And we may even have a messenger that we talk to about it or we're getting messages uh, intuitively about it. Something like this is happening. Okay, this is interesting because very unlike Capricorn. We have a weird energy here and then all of a sudden we get all this spiritual stuff. So let's move on into the feminine side here to expand on the six of fire. Give me a moment. I've missed something. They're going, you need to look closer. Those flowers, the flowers there. Hmm. man sorry i'm trying to look at the yes that's correct okay remember in the beginning <laughs> i said i might have to uh crop this picture and put it in just for this edit here but one guy's kind of got his eyes open they're a little glazed over the pupils are starting to but the one guy's got and not only that he's got his sword on that flower now Here's the deal. I felt like the Capricorn was the one in the brown, the black, whatever. No, it's brown vest. It may look black on the screen. There's a yellow and a brown. I felt like the Capricorn was the brown in the brown dress. Now, they're showing me that the opponent is seeing the prize because we have this man in the middle it's kind of like i don't know god himself or what the deal is here what we're in competition that we don't know we're in competition for there's a cup here neither one of these dudes looking at the cup what's going on here is we have one guy who's got the sword on this plant and i feel like the plant is what it is that they're fighting for and the other guy's completely missing. His sword is missing it all together. Like, something about the plant. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay. Oh, man. I completely missed it. They're going, look at the cup. What's dripping out of the cup? And I said, it's water. And it's dripping to the plant. The plant needs water to live. Now. The one guy sees this and they're giving me a sense like I see everything. I know what this plant needs. I can feed it, whatever. And when I win the cup, I'm going to feed it to that plant. 
because it's the cup, but it can also be the cup of love. Um, they always say, you know, the ace of cups with the water runneth over. But they're showing me one guy has the tools, the other guy is blind. First of all, what, to what, what he's even fighting for. And I feel like, I feel like it's Capricorn. But just give me a minute and walk through this, man. There's a lot here. Now, this is in the fire element, they said. Keep that in mind. Fire, water, and earth are all the elements here. Now, the water and the earth, the water will feed the earth and help it grow. And the fire can kill everything. Why does that mean anything? Fire can also be, just, they're walking me down the road. Fire can also be an element of destruction, right? We have this guy in the middle. He's kind of like the judge here. He is, uh, he can burn things down. But nonetheless, he's there as a mediator between these two. And one guy's got his eyes open, one's got him closed. So I'm going to leave it at that because I'm really... Hmm. I don't know. I'll get it. Hopefully I'll get it by the end of the reading here. It has something to do with our emotional selves, though. And the sense is here, one guy's going to feed that plant, and the other guy doesn't even know there's a plant that needs water. So keep that in mind. There's something here we don't know how to nurture or how to how to tend to or how to like almost like I get a sense we got to save this plant before it dies. And it's like the driplets are coming out of that cup because the person with the fire is try, trying to. Man, I don't know. There's something I'm missing here, but I'm going to let it go and we'll come back here. Uh, but yeah, one guy's eyes are open. They see exactly that there's a plant here. They see if I win the cup, I, I can feed that plant and I can nourish that plant. The other guy, he's just kind of unaware. So that's interesting. Maybe this is, maybe this is the contrast between where we were and where we're going. I don't know. We may be evolving into someone here that had their eyes closed and didn't see anything around us, this kind of thing. And now we're starting to see, we're starting to see where our emotional center can help in the bigger scheme of things. I don't know. Okay, let's move on here. As the feminine cards, uh, the feminine infinity cards to expand on the six of fire. What do we get? We get the knight of fire. So we're staying in that fire element. <sighs> This knight of fire, man, he takes action, he goes, and he does, and he moves, and he shakes. But he just don't stay planted very long. And I feel like that's why we're not seeing. Or if, that's, if this is all our energy in transformation, this is why in the past we couldn't see. Or this is someone that we could be dealing with because they did say we could be dealing with this not only in ourselves but outside of us. There's people in transitional energy or people outside of us that we have a hard time dealing with and we are transitioning because we're seeing examples of this. In this way, it is awakening us to some things that, you know, within ourselves, this kind of thing. The Knight of Fire, he's the, he's the, yeah, he's the mover, shaker, bedroom eyes. Um, he, he moves through the night. <laughs> really sleek and sly, but in the daytime, he's out of there. You know, he's doing his own thing. He's a lot of fun. He is a lot of fun to be around. And he, people like being around him because he's so full of energy and he gets people going. But again, he just doesn't stay in one spot too long. You don't have no roots. Okay, so... As we move on to the Queen of Air, now the feminine card we get here is, whoa, the Knight of Earth. Okay, that's your element. Now, give me a minute here. We may be coupled with the Queen of Air. We may have an air element here that we are dating or, you know, with. I get a sense here. Now, 
Are these the two? These are the two nights, they said. We have a night of fire and night of earth. You are the night of earth. This night of fire may be one of your buddies. Okay. Now, this may be someone who uh, they're showing me sticks to you like glue. Okay. Just give me a minute here. Don't go nowhere without them. This kind of thing. You're going to know. I mean, you're going to know. It sticks to you like glue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is such and such. Okay. This is who we are secretly in competition with. Okay. For something. If we don't know what that is, we're going to find out quite quickly. Now, that Queen Air man, she just morphs in and out. She morphs from... Our instinct coming at us, feeding us stuff to a person, a, a smart person that may not be in our social grouping, but kind of comes in, gives us some information and takes off valuable information. Uh, and she could also be someone that we're dating or seeing uh, on a serious sense here or want to take things serious with. Okay. As we move on to the heaven and earth card, I feel like that's where the universe meets the Capricorn. This is coming in the future. It's dabbling. We're dabbling in things at this point. Uh, we're using our own, um, how do you say, our own belief system that we can put in here that we can make sense of. We're not going crazy with things. We're just accepting there's a heaven and an earth and and we're moving along the line. And they're going, that's okay, as long as we accept there's something other, right? The card on top of the heaven and earth is the king of air. Oh, my lanta. Would you look at this? So we have two knights and a king. This king is looking straight at the knight of earth. The knight of fire is looking at the knight of earth. You're very much the central fuge for people here give me a moment this king of air may be older than you or uh quite mature the guys you're hanging around with this knight of fire is very immature he can kind of get us caught up in things we don't really want to get caught up in and i get a sense too from the capricorn it's like oh man like he did it again like uh put me in an uncomfortable position or did something kind of embarrassing or you know something that you just kind of you're coming to the frayed rope here having to do with this person even though he's tight with you and whatever it's like a default person we're kind of we're kind of outgrowing that person is the sense they're giving me no this king of air i don't have nothing here on him oh my energy's just flowing here <laughs> sorry I don't feel he's in our social circles, this king of air, but he's watching us highly for some reason. Now, we got to beware there's a queen of air here. Okay. On the night of fire, as we go into the masculine cards here, it's funny. All the feminine cards are the males in the, in the, in the deck. Like there's a night, night king. <laughs> Very interesting. Fire, earth, and air. So you got a, a good mix here. Of people around you surrounded <laughs> we're surrounded okay a uh, uh, night of fire on top of that the feminine energy here we get is the hangman okay yeah <laughs> they're going oh we hang but we're also you know getting frustrated here so we may be taking time out away from this person that you know fun bags <laughs> <laughs> Fun, we got a fun bag here and he just kind of gets us into precarious situations and we're kind of getting fed up with that. It's almost like this guy is kind of intending to make us look bad, but he's just tippy-toeing into that energy. Be careful there. Well, I think we're beyond careful. I think we're kind of getting frustrated and fed up because he's putting us in a situation where we just kind of shaking our head going, man, like, are you kidding me? What are you, what are we doing here? Like, or whatever, meet me here. Oh, we're going to go kind of one of those secret keepers. And then all of a sudden you end up in a place you don't want to be with surrounded by people that you don't want to be with. This kind of thing is what I'm getting, but he's having a great, 
great old time, you know, it's all good. So you kind of just bumble your way through and then you take off. But I feel like the Capricorn is, is compromising quite highly here. You know, spending time where they're kind of rolling their eyes and going, oh, man, like they don't want to be here. They da, 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 this kind of stuff. So hangman energy. <laughs> I do feel like this person needs to kind of gain some perspective in his life. But of course, the Knight of Fire, he just, he, uh, he don't feel that way. So he's not going to do that. Um, they say the energy goes back to you because, you know, if you're a feminine or masculine, I'm getting highly masculine because this is what it is. But um, if you're a feminine, you're just kind of fed up with this fire sign that could be an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius, uh, sun, moon, or rising, whatever. Because um, they're just putting you in situations where you're just getting bored. You're, you're not with people that you align with. Um, and he's like, see, this is great fun. And you're like, yeah, fun. I just, uh, you know, you've had enough. So, but you haven't really confronted them yet. You haven't really, you're just kind of rolling your eyes, being the grumpy, what do you call that? Grumpy person. And you don't, you kind of putting up with a lot because you don't actually leave and say, you know what? You have fun. I I'm out of here. You kind of sit and take the abuse or whatever it is here. So <clears throat> this is highly what I'm feeling is we're kind of sitting there for the rest of the evening going like, what did I get myself into? Why am I here? I don't want to be here. So not really taking charge and, and getting yourself out of there on your own. Uh, or maybe they align it so that you can't leave this kind of thing. Kind of bending the arm behind the back kind of deal is what I get here. So as we move on to the center, the queen of air, again, I feel like that can be our intuition. It can be someone that glides in and out, gives us information and takes off. And this could very well be uh, what I speak to uh, ascended angels, whatever, that come in. I feel like my hair is off. Um, <laughs> they come in, they drop a note and off they go. <laughs> this, uh, like a good note, like a verbiage that's good you know information that's good it helps you advance forward knight of earth is connecting with this what do we get from the masculine on the knight of earth we get the page of earth isn't that interesting which has the highest ability to appear in your universe is this middle row and what we have here is the page of earth the knight of earth and a queen of air so the page of earth to the night of earth, <laughs> the page of earth, that is someone who is stopping and smelling the roses. They're enjoying every moment. They're taking in everything in their surroundings. They're grounded in the earth plane. And they may even be very woodsy, meaning I like to go out in the woods. I like to hunt or I like to fish or I like to be in and amongst trees. I like old wood cabin. This I'm getting this kind of sense. Very earthy feel, like you are an earth element, so what do you know? So as we move into uh, the night of earth, that's, you know, that's the one who's dating and, and going around. The, the, we, we have a solid, firm grip of our finances here. We've taken in our surroundings and, you know, I'm just seeing these glossy eyes looking at me going like, now it's time to settle in here with what I want. And maybe that's the maybe that's the route here where we're starting to use our instinct or is it our instinct? Hmm. This is a very weird <laughs> weird thing because each line is very separated from the other. It's like this is my line, this is the Capricorn's line. We are in line with the universal wisdom. We uh, have this feeling I'm getting here is somebody who's moving up the ranks. They're, you know, a kind of moving into a better phase of their life here. But maybe people outside of us aren't accepting that or we're having a hard time accepting it. I don't feel that we are. I think there's a conflict here. I think we kind of have a lot of people around us that are, are in the old me 
in the old Capricorn energy. And now we're, we're just starting to realize the new energy the Capricorns carry. So we don't really have any people that, that agree with that. So we're just kind of getting fed up with everything around us being of the same energy field, you know, like they're wanting something different and it's not here, but yet I feel a great, um, how do I say that? Like I've been around the world, I've, you know, done my thing. I've, uh, there's nothing I really want for at this point is the sense I'm getting. So I just want to, I just want to sit and I want to absorb things and I want to slow things down and I want to take in every moment, but I want to do it differently than I've done so far. So this is kind of what I'm getting and the universe is right there to help guide you where they want you to go as well. And I feel like for the first time, we may be actually listening to that. Okay, man, this is going to be a little longer than the rest. So that's that. Okay, now we get on the heaven and earth. Again, there's a king of air. He's just hovering here because he's not, the energy's not going anywhere. And I feel like it's not going anywhere because we may not know this person yet or have come across them yet. Meaning... It's somebody that's taking note of us, either wants to talk to us, but has not yet. Or, you know, somebody who has, yeah, has an interest in us. I don't know if it's business or personal or what's going on here. But somebody's taking an interest in us, kind of looking our way. The masculine card I get on top of that is the nine of air. Okay. This is going back to a reading I had before with Capricorn. I'm not going to bring up all the dirt. <laughs> you can go back and do that yourself. Um, it's interesting because it's under the heaven and earth. And I feel like this Capricorn is kind of losing themselves in the hereafter and thinking about things that are completely ungrounded. But instead of being uncomfortable with things, they're feeling quite great and grand. Okay, there's that. So I don't know if this is um, the Capricorn losing themselves. <laughs> They're going, no, in fact, we're finding ourselves by doing this, is what they said. So I need to understand more here. We're in competition for something, but I feel it's very passive. I feel like we're just waiting for things to happen to us. And the universe is liking this field that we're in because we slowed things down enough that they can get through and we're listening and we're paying attention and we're not just disregarding so we might actually take action on one of these things is their hope is what they're saying now so we have the king of air in a nine of air element that stress worry and anxiety and he's looking in your direction so Give me a moment. There's a lot of conflicting stuff here. I got to kind of uh, weed through. We have a problem. Houston. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem here. We have a bit of a, a predicament. Now, what they're telling me is this king of air is anxiety ridden. He is connected to a queen of air. The Queen of Air is connected to the Knight of Earth, the Capricorn. The Capricorn's connected to the Knight of Fire. How all this comes together? The Knight of Fire has gotten the Capricorn introduced to this Queen of Air. Okay? This may be someone. This is someone that's not in your social circle. It's just someone out of the blue. And the sense here is the night of fire. This is one of the predicaments we're getting into. It may have, it may be in the past, but the sense I'm getting is this is in um, construction as we speak. This night of fire, this shifty guy over here, he's trying to set up with this, set us up with this queen of air. But guess what? The queen of air is taken because the king of air is here. Now, I don't know if it's marriage or whatnot. But he is, um, th that's the thing. Now, here's the deal. The queen of air, it's like she wants to get to know you and talk to you for business reasons. 
or something to do with business, or that is the guys that this Knight of Fire, he is setting you up to get like beat up by the King of Airs, the, the, the husband or the boyfriend or something. He's trying to get you to fall for this Queen of Air or make a pass or embarrass yourself or something with this Queen of Air. Because he knows there's a King of Air here. Like, who does this? Who does this? He's like trying to get you in a predicament. And yeah, I feel though the energy they're giving me. It's the Capricorns going out and they're just like sitting in the corner. Like, I'm not impressed. Like being a grump. Like they, they could not even be there, but they're staying there. So that's the energy that they're showing me that the Capricorn's in with this dude. Okay. Just not impressed. So I don't know <clears throat> if they're going to be able to pull off this little stunt because the sense is this fire sign is going to introduce you to this queen and this queen is taken, but the queen it, it, they're scamming they're saying queen oh yeah the knight of earth he has you know all this stuff they're setting him up because she's she's being true to her boyfriend because she's looking at you it's all a plan to embarrass and um like set up so that people can see and then they'll invite people over like it's just goofy like this is um we're feeling really mundane and really bored with this person. We just need to let it go because this person is trying to trap us in a situation that they can exploit just for fun and games. They're just trying to get us into a predicament and see if we can get ourselves out of it or see if we get beat. What's going to happen with the king when the king finds out? Like this guy, he's just warped. He's got too much time on his hands here scheming. Like this is crazy. Now... Give me a moment here. <laughs> like, is this the dude? Because we go back. Let's go back to that first card, right? Six of, of fire. What is going on? There's something weird here. Okay. They told me the story about the one dude has his eye open and he has, and I said, is that the night of fire? They're saying, yes. The Capricorn's the one that doesn't see all of this. Now, um, how does this relate to this couple? They're going, we keep engaging this person. We keep... Uh, letting them into our life and it's it's going to be uh, where we're going to either it's going to come to blows with this person they're going it already has um, but the, right our limits just this person is testing us really highly is what I get here and they're going to test us right out of their life is really what it is they're trying to take what we haven't even realized that we want yet is kind of the sense, correct? Yeah. Because um, they're going, we're in constant competition over what? The thing is, we don't mesh. We're on different levels. We're not even, um, but it's kind of like an, a, a, I don't know, a bro thing or like an immature thing where we kind of feed into it more than we realize. And it hurts us more than we're realizing. Meaning all these little predicaments that they put us in and other people, it's, it's tarnishing our, our character, right? And we're kind of letting that happen and not realizing that's the closed eyes here. And, I feel like some kind of a confidence has been laid with this person. So beware that that could be used against you or is being used against you. Could be in this whole predicament, could be. But there's a king of air here connected to this queen that's highly uh, anxiety written over you. And I feel like you're just kind of not even aware yet. Again, I don't know if there's something that could be thwarted, like can be warded off here if we're, but 
there's a shit disturber in your midst and he's going to do everything and get you drunk, put you in compromising positions, take pictures and then laugh the next day. This is what I'm getting. This is like teenager stuff. This is what I'm getting. So anyway, <clears throat> there's that. Now, I do not feel you are in that energy. I feel you're getting sick and tired of that. I feel like you're at the end of the year rope with this person, but somehow they always seem to weasel their way back in and then um, put you in those positions again. And, and I'm telling you, the next one's not going to be so easy to get out of or so it's going to tarn it. It's tarnishing more and more of our uh, respect and all of that stuff. So we kind of may need to stand up to that i don't know there's something here so you you're gonna be dealing with this king of air one way or another and we may have we may even be thwarting it just in the nick of time because of our disdain for this guy maybe rolling our eyes going like i don't want to talk to nobody you introduced me to Da da because da. you may be listening to our instinct here we may be getting gut reactions and all of this stuff like all of the emotions are there i'm fed up blah, blah, blah. but we're not taking action we're just sitting and le and letting this person be in our field and it's it pulling so <clears throat> man this is a heavy one this is going to be one to get into i guess because man there's a lot here and i don't feel it's just um but I do feel the Capricorn, you are in an energy, male or female, where you're kind of, other than putting up with this one person who seems to get us in predicaments, I think we need to start distancing from that. I think we realize that and I think we're starting to figure out, maybe even think about figuring out ways to do that to get out of this person's field more often. But hopefully we do it before they get us in another pickle. <laughs> Because I feel like it's coming up here. We got a jar dills coming from this guy. He's going to serve you with a bow on it. This is what's happening. So be careful because the king of air here is uh, on the outside. He's going to come right at you. And that is kind of a planned thing is the sense I'm getting. Wow. A lot of energy Capricorn uh, here. So the power of surrender card to shut her down. <laughs> surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. Yeah, your own worth. I feel like this is slowly dripping into our field here. Um, we may not get that cup, but we may not want that cup is the sense. I think that's the wisdom here. We may be in secret competition because this guy is just playing with a whole bunch of stuff in his head and he's throwing things your way. And I think the Capricorn's kind of going like, I just ain't interested anymore. I think we're moving into a greater wisdom here. We're realizing there's more to earth than just earth. There's more to earth than money. There's more to people than you know, partying. I don't know if that's the deal. I, I, I think it's more, it's a broader sense of just the, the, the friends that we keep, right? The company that we keep. We're starting to realize it's not, um, what's the word? It doesn't thrill us like we used to. And we don't want to be thrilled the way we used to either. Is kind of the sense I'm getting is we're just, we're coming into a better part of ourselves. And we're realizing that we got to grow past some people. So the magic of who you are, it's interesting because I do get that the Capricorn is in kind of a magical energy. I mean, this is the time of year to be in that. Uh, <clears throat> you know, with all the lights in the air and it's like the starry sky, there's so much mystery beyond what is here on the earth. And I feel like the Capricorns are starting to tap into that. And hopefully <laughs> we can rise above the chaos makers and tap into that and be, you know, become in wonderment at what the universe really has to offer instead of, 
you know, because I feel like we're just in and amongst a bunch of low, lower vibrationals. We're starting to rise in frequency and we're starting to really realize these people are cramping. Talk about cramping style, man. This is cramping the whole flipping wardrobe. I'm just done. I can't handle people like this no more. You know, things we used to put up with, and I know I went through this phase myself. <laughs> You know, we used to put up with people and you go like, what did I ever, what, I didn't have anything in common with them. Like we just talk at each other. We don't talk to each other. We're one person saying one thing, another, and then you just leave. And it's like, we never got anything from the conversation. Like, like you look back and you go, how did I put up with that? I feel like this is what the Capricorn's going through. They're evolving. They need more nourishment. And some of the people around them, they're just not they're not feeling it they're not evolving and they don't want to evolve so <clears throat> be, be careful i will say this one caveat <laughs> be careful um who you uh entertain or let entertain you in and amongst these people because i'm getting a high sense we know exactly who is ticking us off here or getting on our nerves this has got to go. Don't entertain those people no more because they're really trying to to gain fruit here from your mishaps. They get a rush out of putting you in tricky situations, watching you squirm to get out of them. It's kind of sadistic, really, is what I'm getting. So if you know who the, they are, yeah, I, I feel like we know all this on an emotional level. We absolutely know it to disdain. We're even getting to the point where I hate being around this person. I just, I can't stand it anymore. So why are we doing it, right? So this is, again, when we go back to the magic of who you are, you're unique and you're worth just being you. And that may be something the Capricorn has to sink into a little bit here. You're unique and you have your own worth just for who you are. You don't have to have the entourage. Because that's the sense I get too, is that we need these people to cut. They're kind of our buffer when we social buffers, right? Uh, no, go out and be yourself and be, and you can make, you know, new friends and new people and new frequencies uh, because we are pretty secure. Uh, we, well, you know, it's interesting because, there's a lot of energy here they put on the worth. You're a magical being with a uniqueness and worth. Almost like you got to be convinced of your worth. And these people that are around you, they ain't cutting it. They're not worthy. Of, you are surpassing them. And we need to uh, make that cut. Because they're really bringing, they could be bringing you down. Uh, you know, they have a horse here. And they want me to mention that horse. So you may be, uh, there may be something about horses that uh, make you feel calm. Or you may be someone who owns a horse or rides a horse or has a connection to a horse in some way. Or I don't know what the deal is here. But it's a white horse. <laughs> okay. Uh, white knight syndrome, right? But I don't get, I get this is a bro thing. I feel like we're trying to figure out our life we're trying to cool our jets and figure out really who we are and as a person and we got all these people outside of us pushing us around and and we're starting to get fed up with that and um we may not be seeing the manipulation for all it's worth but it's really there it's like one element here we have a Aries, Leo, or Sag that's going to try and get us in trouble with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And I feel like there's a big triangle there. And I feel like they're trying to set up some woman to come at you in a certain way. Now, this woman is connected to this. Ma I don't know. They're trying to get this king of air after you. They're trying to cause a fight. Literally. Like, I don't. Why would I pick up on this? <laughs> So, warning, there it is. But surround yourself with all that's magical over the season and just let yourself sink into that. And if you need to remove yourself from from people that are being immature and um, 
really hard to be around, just do that. Don't engage them. Don't entertain them as much as we are because the sense is, is that it's going to start to hurt us, uh, you know, more. It has. Like, I feel like we've either been embarrassed in public around these people or they put us in p predicaments that they could gossip about is kind of what I'm getting. Like, for a male, it's just kind of like grade school stuff. But anyway, man, Capricorn, it's heavy. Whew. I'm right in there. Like, I don't know. Heaven and earth, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of lost for words here. There's a lot of energy in different departments. You're down the middle. You focus on self and you can't go wrong. Get rid of the low vibrationals and you'll be on your way. And if you want more readings or more in-depth readings from me, check out my Rumble page. The link is below. I will put out commercials when I get my career, love, sex, and romance, and spirituality readings out on there. And I, I don't know, it's Christmas time, so I don't know uh, how I'm going to get them out, but, <laughs> but I'll get them out. Um, yeah, very intense reading, but I think you're on the right path. I think you're being guided, and I think you just, you're going to go in the right way here. So take care, have fun, and be kind, and I hope you miss the chaos <laughs> as it goes by. And I hope that these people kind of get found out for their little plan, because it's just not nice. So surrender to the magic of who you are and you'll do fine because that is really, I feel like you're, you're sitting, it's like a, the comfy armchair. You're just relaxing into who you are and this is all good. Be yourself. Buzz, buzz. Okay, take care, have fun and be kind.